you can group data in almost an ad hoc kind of way when working with pivot table data. This particular pivot table is showing items sold by region and by product. And someone has asked us how well we've done in the east. Well, we don't really have an east here. We've got a northeast, we've got a southeast. Let's put those two fields together. I'm going to click just this cell D4 right here that has southeast and pointing to the lower edge of it, click and drag leftward to put it next to the southeast data. That's going to pull all the data below it with it. So the two are side by side. Let's select both of these, right click and group them. Now the word group one appears here. That's not a very useful name. Let's type in the word east, because that's really what this means here. The minus in front of it means we can collapse this view. Now, looking ahead here, we've got a 2807 and a 1243. That's about 4050, so let's click the minus, and that's what we see. We are now seeing a total for the east, right here in the breakout. For west, we still have northwest and southwest. Let's select those two cells right here right click and group and replacing the word group to just click it type right over it put in the word west and now zooming in a little bit here we can collapse the west we collapse the east we now see our east west breakout if we need the other detail we'll click the plus we can do this in rows as well these represent two different kinds of tables so how about selecting those two, right click and group. Instead of group one, call those tables. Maybe the next two items, they represent living room furniture, so we might want to group those too. I'll just type L period, R period furniture. And we could collapse those two. I think you can imagine other situations where this could come into play as well. And sometimes you'll move the fields around as you did in this example. Let me press Control Z a few times to bring out another feature of Excel that you're going to be interested in at different times, depending upon the table. So we're going to do some ungrouping here as I press Control Z. Sometimes we're looking at the data and a number jumps out at us. That's kind of low, that one's kind of high. Sometimes you want to see the detail behind a number. What's behind this 180? Double click. Suddenly we're on a new sheet. This feature is called Drill Down. This represents the 180 sales items. If we click this column entry right here, we'll see at the bottom of the screen, the total, 180. Here are the 180 items. Anytime within a pivot table, if you double click any of the values in the values area, it's as if you're saying, go back to the source data, grab up those 524 records that reflect that 524 total there. Think of it as a snapshot in time. Let's see the sales detail behind those 524 items. Double click, there's the detail. It puts the information on a new sheet. The total here, 524. If you are going to be doing that more than a few times, you better start labeling these sheets. And also remember that they are accurate at the moment that you make the entry, but what happens if you make changes to your source data, you refresh your pivot table, possibly these are no longer up to date. So I think many people might use these as a temporary look at the data and then eventually just get rid of these. But the drill down feature is, is a handy one and it does let us get behind the scenes quickly.